In this video, we're going to cover Fly's managed product. A couple of things that we're going to go over today are an overview of the dashboard widgets, the catalog functionality and overview, the stock locations, printing and managing barcodes, pick lists, and RFQ automation. Throughout this, we're going to switch between the web version and the iOS version to give you some insight into how the two are connected. Fly allows every user the ability to customize their own dashboard with widgets for our buy and manage based on the type of employee you are or where you're at in your onboarding list. Clicking on add widgets shows you all the widgets that are provided for reporting. When we click manage, we'll have a list of all of the widgets from materials usage over time, stock overview per location, inventory efficiencies, scoring, guidance, and activity location feeds by materials. Now we're going to head on over to our catalog to give you an overview of catalog management. Ply allows catalog management and integration with field service management partners like House Call Pro and Service Site. During your onboarding process, we'll get you connected through our integrations, which will allow you to have a bi-directional sync with your catalog and price book through House Call Pro and Service Titan. Once that connection is made, we'll have your catalog within Ply, and if any changes that are made within Ply are made within Service Titan. The best way to think about your catalog is like a library. This is the contents of the entirety of all of the items that you may have in your warehouses or trucks, but also the items that may be deprecated and you don't use that we're retaining for data purposes. Some of the functionality that we have include the ability to create new folders and nest folders for organization, being able to filter down from location, category, brand, manufacturer, alerts, tags, and filtering out any kind of duplicates that may arrive. Every item on Ply has its own individual page that provides rich information about product in detail. This helps your technicians out in the field do diagnostics and your team in the back office maintain accurate records of the catalog item in your inventory. You'll have the ability to see the name of the item, the UPC code that's provided by the manufacturer, barcodes. You can create a request directly from this page. You can see important information like the number of times that you've purchased this item, the total savings that Ply was able to provide you, and the six-month pricing trend over time. Additional information about the item is located under the information tab, which shows you the item number, the different variants that you store, and other information like the source and manufacturer and brand. The stock tab will actually show you the location of all the items that exist in all the locations. You can see here that we have 45 of these motors across a number of different locations, and we can see here that there's a number of areas where we need to move inventory to or generate an RFQ to replenish the item so that it meets our logic for replenishment. You can deactivate items if they're no longer in service or you've deprecated them from your catalog. The pricing tab shows you the prices that are pulled from your price book coming from House Call Pro or Service Titan, or allows you to manage the prices so that your field technicians have a good understanding of the cost for the business, the cost for the client, so that you can accurately have better margins. You can edit the different prices, or you can change prices globally across all items. Purchase history shows you every single time that you've purchased this item, the corresponding request that came from, the cost of the item, and the supplier that you purchased with. This information is incredibly valuable for being able to have accurate information about the costing of items and will allow your team to have a better, more accurate price book. Finally, we'll be able to show you everywhere where this item exists and the activity that it's had throughout your organization. So if there have been material changes in transfers from warehouses to jobs or trucks to jobs or back into the warehouse or cleanout, all of that will be cataloged within Ply so that you can see exactly what's going on and where. Additionally, we'll show you the request where the item has been requested from so that you can see the exact supplier and request for that item. From the catalog, we're going to head over to the stock locations. Stock locations are broken up into two separate sections, warehouses and trucks. The difference between warehouses and trucks is trucks have technicians that are assigned to them, and warehouses have warehouse managers or individuals that can look into you can click into a warehouse by clicking one of the cells, and it will list out all of the materials that exist within that warehouse. It's just going to show us the material name, the category, the item number, the quantity that exists, the cost of the business and the client, the specific location, 
and whether or not it's been synced with a build service management software. Within a stock location, you can generate a replenishment list, which is logic that is set by you that allows you to automate adding low quantity items into a list for replenishment. These items are ready to be ordered based on the parameters that we've set. If you're ready to order all of these items, you can select them all and create a request. Within a specific warehouse, you have the ability of seeing all of the activity within that location. You can click to expand to see the name of the material, the quantity, notes, and where it's going. This allows you oversight into all transactions within the warehouse in the event that there is an error or there needs to be something reconciled. Inside of a warehouse, you'll have the ability of also picking off a number of different request types. You can create a RFQ request to order. You can generate a pick list. You can make a transfer of these items to another location or to a job. Or you can export and print barcodes specifically for the item select. Additionally, you can filter down, just like in your catalog, across category, brand, manufacturer, position, any alerts and tags that you've set up. Similar to warehouses, trucks have the exact same functionality with the difference of having an individual that is assigned to the truck. Each cell represents the number of items, the specific truck details, the license plate number, the individual who is assigned to the truck, and at a glance you'll be able to see the low and critical amounts for easy ordering and monitoring. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bobby's truck. It looks like we need to order a few materials from him. Now inside of Bobby's truck, at a glance, we'll be able to see all of the information about the materials, just like the warehouse, the material name, the item number, category, quantity, the cost, and the location that exists. Again, based off of the logic that you've set for your mens and maxes, you have the ability of selecting items that are low, that need to be ordered, and create a request directly from Struck. You can see we've pulled in the request name, the date that the request and who it's for, and automatically made a replenishment list request. The items that we've selected from the truck are then pulled in here, and your low and maxes are added if you've had them created. If you're using Ply to make materials attribution to jobs, we have a tab called Jobs that allows you to sync all of the jobs from your field service management software or manage new jobs if you're not using a field service management software like Service Titan or House Call Pro. Each job contains a list of items that the technician or the warehouse manager has transferred into the job for material attribution specifically for that invoice. When a material is added to a job through scanning or making a transfer, that material is added directly to the line item and that invoice that corresponds with that job or rest. Within Ply, although we don't manage invoices, we will track and maintain the record of the material attribution to a job. If changes are made within Service Titan or House Call Pro, it automatically updates bi-directionally inside of Fly so that we're always keeping the same record between the two softwares. Picklist, a relatively new feature added by Ply, allows warehouse managers or materials managers the ability to maintain a record of the items that are ready to be picked within the warehouse. Adding items to a pick list can happen in a number of different ways. You can add items to a pick list from your catalog or within a warehouse. So if we go into a specific warehouse, we can select a number of items. And there's an action here to allow us to create a pick list. You can enter the name of the pick list. The destination from is already pre-selected by the destination that you came from, and then where you want it to go. We can add notes in case there's additional information that the person picking the materials needs to know about the materials. Click Next. The materials that we've selected from the previous screen while we were in a warehouse are automatically added to the list of items. Additionally, if we need to add additional items to a pick list, you can search materials or go through a record of the materials that exist within that warehouse. We click next. We then have refined the list of materials that are ready to be picked and we can add the quantities of the materials that we want.
Now, something to note here that you'll see is when materials are have a zero quantity, you're going to be alerted that the material does not exist. And what happens at this point is the materials will then be branched off from the original pick list and a new pick list will be created specifically for the items that need to be ordered. We will also prompt you to automatically generate an RFQ for the replenishment of the items that are being picked that no longer exist anywhere. We're going to click save and add new pick list. Confirm. These are the materials that are waiting on an RFQ. And we're going to head over to the pick list that we created. If we go back to the pick list management, jump right to this screen. You can see the pick list that we've created is here. We can drill into this pick list to see the items that need to be picked. We can add materials if there's an amendment that needs to be, or we can change the status. You can see that the items have been broken up into two actions, ones that need to be ordered and ones that are ready to be picked. And we're gonna click apply. The pick list has been moved from needing to be refilled to waiting for pickup now that we've indicated that pick list is waiting to be picked up. The items that were still to be ordered are in the column of need to be refilled. And we can take a look at those here. You can select these items and automatically create an RFQ from the pick list. Fly allows you to customize the logic for your RFQ replenishment requests. Now there's a number of different ways that requests can come into Fly or that can get created based on the logic set at the individual item location per location. Let's start in a specific location. Items that are needing to be ordered are indicated by red or orange. These indicate the low or critical amounts that generate a replenishment list. You can filter out to see each of these, to generate a request, or Ply automatically pulls those items out into a separate tab for you to review to automatically create a request from that location. The same logic applies for trucks. If a technician has an item that is low or critical that's set by you or the technician, you can come in, look at the replenishment list, and decide whether or not you want to purchase those items for replenishment. When a request is created, the name of the request, the truck, and the replenishment request type is added directly to that location for fulfillment. A draft RFQ is a list of items that the technician has indicated is outside of the bounds of the logic that you set per item at that location. Think of this as like a shopping list. The technician has decided that they need these items from you and you're going to decide whether or not you're going to add them to a pick list or you're going to generate an RFQ directly from the list of items that the technician is requesting. You can select these items and you can automatically create a request. 